and bobs to do, nothing particularly important today apart from getting in touch, look at the lighting levels here, apart from getting in touch with AWRS again to confirm that they received my email reply yesterday, put a bit of paint on the wall over there to push the sink back in and continue to dress this fermenter and we'll get it ready for a lid and uh, ready for pickling paste on the inside. And then we can get this one out and put it to Von side and continue with another one. So yeah, because of the setbacks that I've had with HMRC, they've lost the brewery license application. Uh, so I have to resend one of those again. I'll put that together today. Fortunately, I photocopied most of it. I don't think I copied the plan, the brewery layout plan. So I might have to draw one of those up again. And uh, then the meeting next week with the alcohol wholesale registration man should kickstart this red tape situation and hopefully it will have that resolved before the end of the month which will give me time I imagine probably probably a month before it gets finished on reflection but that will give me time no less to get the tanks wet tested get the elements fitted Give me some cash to get the elements in, of course, because we're running low. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is probably put some paint on this wall over here. Stuart never got round to fishing it yesterday. He's, we're going to change his name to Arthur, Arthur Job. So put a paint there, push that back to the wall, and then I can get that sink plumb back in, and then I can at least have a coffee this morning. There's a butterfly trying to escape. Where are you going, buddy? Anyway, enough of that. I've got my little kitchen area back in place. Oh, there's two of them. Two butterflies. So easily distracted. Kitchen area back in place, taps are working. Move the doors across to there so I can free up this section here, which is currently housing all of this stuff stored on on the shelving, just uh, loads of junk and stuff. So that's got to come away so we can paint all of this area here, sort this ceiling out and decorate it so it looks pretty good. Then we're going to move on to this section as well and eventually the whole unit will be painted. So I've spent the last hour or so just buzzing across here with this black bitumen paint and putting a black band on the wall all the way across. It looks really quite nice actually. And uh, this is just to help the brickwork cope with any splashes or anything like that when we're washing tanks out. Which hopefully we will be doing before May, but it's looking increasingly less likely. Funds are tight, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit, I think, uh, till we've got some more dosh in for the elements and I need a brew pump. That's gonna cost around, well, best part of a grand really. So we don't have that spare cash this month. So fingers crossed, we'll be able to find it from somewhere. Right folks, I've come home. You're sat on the fridge, freezer fridge. Uh, so you probably hear a little bit of whirring going on in the background and chance tippy in. So yeah, I've come home, I've been on the phone to AWRS to see if we can't sort out this missing brewery license. I know it's not their department, but uh, they're involved. Uh, they're coming out to visit us on, on Wednesday, I think I've mentioned this. And uh, if you're gonna communicate with HMRC via email, you have to fill in an email protocol form and send that back to them. The only trouble is I never got an email back from him saying I've received everything and we're good to do this. So I'm still waiting on a few documents from them which will include basically a list of what they want to speak to me about when they come on Wednesday. 
So this now leaves me just two days, two working days left to prepare for their visit, which isn't very long, frankly. So fingers crossed, I'll get something before close of play today. But uh, at the moment, I'm about to pack up uh, with the camera, I've got to go and drop the car off for Gemma, she's picking the kids up and I'm meeting Craig in Beerheads for a pint and then Froggy's holidaying for a week I think and uh, I'm gonna meet him in the brew shed for a swift bevy, a swift bevy before he goes on holiday. Also been playing around, you'll be pleased to know, with lenses We've got the 50 mil on today. I think it looks pretty smart, doesn't it? Because I've put together some videos for a Patreon page. So in case you guys don't know what a Patreon page is, it's an avenue for viewers of the videos to contribute directly to Harry Bruce 69's channel, basically. Adpocalypse has meant that YouTube no longer pays anything worth noting to its creators, very, very little revenue comes in, and making these videos is, as you're probably aware, quite time consuming. Sometimes, if it's a big edit and I've been somewhere, I can spend up to four hours on just the editing side, never mind the filming and having to carry the camera about, the expense of the ca you know, there's lenses to buy and all this kind of stuff. So, the Patreon page is going to be there. For anybody who feels like they want to buy me a coffee, or a beer, or a sandwich, or a case, or even donate a few quid for me and the family to have a day out and uh, a day off. It's completely up to you. There are several tiers of, uh, several amounts that you can pledge, and the site takes care of it all for you, and that money then will go directly in, bloody phone, that was Robert from AWRS, haha. <laughs> he's coming out, he's got my email, everything's okay. Where was I? So all the money that you guys pledge uh, on Patreon will be going directly into keeping the YouTube channel going. We'll pay for little bits of kit like lenses and obviously contribute towards the amount of time that I'm putting into keeping these daily vlogs going. The audience at the moment is about a thousand views per video thereabouts. So that means that the revenue stream from YouTube is like not worth at all. I tell you what, if you want to make a living, you'd be better off flipping burgers at McDonald's than starting a YouTube channel. I can guarantee you that. But of course, I enjoy doing these vlogs as well, and I want to share with everybody the fact that I'm building a brewery again. I'm building a brewery from scratch. I think it's an amazing thing. We're almost there, and I like to share all of this with you guys. I want to give to you as well as you give to me. It's a two-way street, if you know what I mean. A fair exchange is no robbery, as uh, an old poacher once said to me. So, in return for your pledges on Patreon, as well as the YouTube videos, which are always going to remain free and available on YouTube, you're going to get some bonus content. I've released my first video today, and that's for patrons only, which is just a thank you to the people that have already pledged support to us. And in the future, if I'm going to be sharing anything like recipes, or any sort of cheeky little techniques I get going, or we do any beer mail clubs, all that is going to be focused on the Patreon page. So, if you want to be in it, you've got to be supporting the channel. That's the way it's going to have to be, unfortunately, because we need to keep this going somehow and it costs money. It costs money. Anyway, enough of the hard sell. You all know where I'm coming from, guys. For those of you out there that earn a living, could you ask your gaffer for two or three hours off a day to make a video, I very much doubt it. I very much doubt it. So this is why this is a bit of a necessary evil. And quite frankly, I don't want you guys to have to sit through and watch adverts on the videos all the time. I mean, granted, if you want to click the ads, click the ads, but it ain't worth it for me. It's not worth it for me. I use ad blocker on YouTube. I recommend you use ad blocker. Don't, don't watch the ads on my account. 
If you want to watch them and click them, do it, but don't do it on my account. The best way to support me is follow the link in the doobly doo below and to go and visit my Patreon page. Right, I've swapped across now back to the uh, zoom lens, the kit lens from Canon. This was what we were just on if you liked. The quality of the video, this is a Canon 50mm, quite a nice little bit of kit actually. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to call it time on the video today because I'm going to nip down to the pub and meet Froggy, as I said, and Craig for a few beers. The sun is absolutely beaming in through these windows and I fear it's going to be gone by Sunday. I'd like to spend tomorrow with the family, so who knows what's going to be on tomorrow's vlog installation. But join me for it then. We're signing out now. We'll see you tomorrow, folks. I'm gone. Go to Patreon. Go to Patreon. In the sky. There's no sun up in the sky. I don't know why. There's no sun up in the sky.